Oh, well, I think there have to be, there's no doubt in my mind that there has to be reform, that, that these issues have to be addressed at the highest level, and not only by the Pope, but also by the bishops. And I think, I think that will be the, one of the main things. The card will, it will be discussing. And, you know, when, a new, when a, a new Pope is elected, he knows, he will know very well what, what the cardinals uh, uh, have discussed, because he'll be part of the, uh, of the discussions. So I think the new Pope will go with a very clear mandate. And uh, I'm sure that the, uh, uh, the, the new Pope will, uh, will also be appointed with a view to a man who's capable of governing, not only those other qualities which I mentioned, but also capable of the kind of reform and renewal that's needed in, in the church at the present time. There have been difficulties, there have been scandals, they've got to be addressed. Because otherwise, I think there's no doubt, uh, and uh, something which obviously saddens me greatly, that the, the, not just the image of the church, but the effectiveness of the church in, in witnessing to the gospel of Jesus Christ, the good news, uh, is also affected. The new pope needs to be He's a pontifex, and the word means uh, not only a, a high priest, but also a bridge builder. And I think this next pope must be a bridge builder. Uh, and uh, that means especially with his fellow bishops, but also uh, within the, uh, the, the, the courier, the people who immediately serve him. And, uh, and in that, there's no doubt that, that today that there needs to be uh, renewal in the church, reform in the church, and especially of governance. How is the Pope, this next Pope, going to govern uh, the Church? As you know, there have been uh, troubles uh, uh, recently, in the recent years, and, and scandals. Well, these have got to be addressed. Uh, and especially um, the, the Pope's own house has to be put in order. And now, so are we going to have a black Pope next time? Well, we could have a black Pope. We could have a South American Pope. We could have uh, an Asian Pope. You could have uh, any of the uh, the cardinals could be uh, uh, could be uh, uh, elected wherever he comes from, and they could even elect somebody who's not in the not in the conclave at all, uh, somebody outside. Uh, the, the Pope, as I've said, rules the church with the bishops, and there'll always be a Pope. There always has been, and there always will be. I think that. Uh, 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 at the moment. Uh, the celibacy is, is <coughs> mandatory, for, for, and uh, uh, and I may I just mention with regard to that well, that, that uh, uh, celibacy is is not only uh, uh, the reason why the Catholic Church and indeed uh, our, our, our Anglican friends and others have been speaking about uh, <coughs> against a gay marriage uh, is really because of the word marriage. Um, is um, free from any kind of taint of, of cover-up that, that has affected so many communities throughout the world. I'm, I'm especially thinking of very recent comments by Cardinal Turkson um, about um, uh, whether such a cover-up could happen in Africa. And um, he suggested that because of anti homosexuality who were um, advising that a new pope should be free of any kind of taint in that sense. Well... I think the, 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 the cardinals, when they're choosing a new pope, as I've said, I will be there for the discussions, and then I go. I don't go in for the uh, the election. But then they'll be thinking of a man of, of, of probity. I'm quite sure. Uh, and Uh, at the moment, uh, the celibacy is, is <coughs> mandatory, for, for, and uh, uh, and I may I just mention with regard to that, well, that, that uh, uh, celibacy is.